Sup Flare Squad, welcome back to my channel and to the film out music video explanation slash theory video. Now to understand BTS's fictional storyline, I did create an updated BTS storyline summary video on my channel. To understand the rest of this video, I do recommend you watching it if you haven't yet. Alright, let's begin. We start with Jungkook alone in a room with covered furniture. This room represents the future while the cleaner looking room with all the members together is the past. The windows behind Jungkook are covered in clouds, just like the window behind Taehyung, so we know this is a window. And in one scene, this window also had blinds. During Taehyung's part, you notice an hourglass laying on the table. This could represent that time has stood still, and that this room represents being stuck or is in a standstill. As soon as the room darkens, it shows Sukjin walking in, but this is a different room from what Jungkook was in. The windows that were covered in clouds now show all seven of the boys together in the clean room. This represents the parallel universes. Notice how the couch is facing each other, the plants are in the same location, and the lamps are on the same side of the room. Parallel universe means a world conceived of as coexisting with and having certain similarities to the known world but different from it in some fundamental way. As you could see, Jungkook has the room with the grey chair, while Sukjin's room has the white chair. Why are there parallel universes? It's because there's time traveling. Sukjin made a deal with a cat to travel back in time in order to save the boys, and we all know how that went down. Each time Sukjin travels back, he actually doesn't continue the same universe, but creates another parallel universe. The old universe he left behind will actually continue as is. Which is what I believe all of these doors represent. All of the universes he created by time travel. Okay, but in this clean room, which is the past, they're all happy because they're together. Sukjin is trying to save them all so they could once again be together and be happy. He then holds up an hourglass showing that his time just restarted, meaning the room he's currently in, he just got into, which is why we saw him walking into this room. He's disconnected from the other members because in the storyline, he hasn't told any of them about his ability to time loop and that he's been trying to save them like hundreds of times. Don't worry though, later in the story, he does confess to everyone about what's been happening. The scene switches over to Jungkook looking through the window as if he noticed Sukjin, but then looks down at the hourglass. His hourglass has finished. Meaning, it's going to start all over again, which is why they end up fading away. Them fading away could represent them going over to a new parallel universe. So why does Jungkook notice the hourglass, and why is he in a room similar to Sukjin's? In the storyline, after he gets hit with a truck, which he believes was actually Sukjin, the cat approaches him and asks him, it'll be more painful to live than die. Do you still want to live? Jungkook most likely made a deal with this cat, just like Sukjin made a deal with it to save everyone. So that means Jungkook is now in his own time loop, which is why he looks at the hourglass. We know that tension has been building up between Sukjin and Jungkook because Jungkook believes Sukjin was the one who hit him with the truck. Jungkook also suspects that the others know about the car accident and that they know it's Sukjin, but they're hiding the truth from him. But actually, the boys were just trying to find the map of the soul to help Sukjin, and they kept Jungkook out of it because they didn't want to stress him out so he could recover from the car accident. Now, this scene with Hosok and Yoongi on a platform next to a doorframe in the middle of a desert, this one still confuses me, not gonna lie. But since this music video does remind us of fake love, J-Hope was by the door during the music video. And I mean, Yoongi wasn't sitting against one, but I mean, he had a door in his room. 
<laughs> if that means anything. We do see Hosok and Yoongi interacting during Black Swan. The doorframe could symbolize the transition and the passage from one world to another. This would actually go hand in hand with all the doors we saw in Sokjin's scene. Sokjin reaches out his hands as the boys fade away. This scene reminds me of Sokjin reaching out during the Euphoria music video when Jungkook was trying to save Yoongi. And Sokjin was also in front of a window watching. Just like in Film Out, Sokjin is watching everyone once again through a window. We know that the window is linked to his time travels, which is why we hear the window shattering whenever he goes back in time. I'm assuming the window helps him see the past timelines just from the webtoon, which is another reason why I think the clean room is the past. The scene quickly switches over to the hourglass that is now moving backwards. Time is rewinding. The room falls into destruction similar to the fake love music video. Remember that every time the window shatters in the story, that means he's going through another time loop. That also explains why the hourglass is rewinding. The room is in chaos and he tries to run out but realizes where he's at. Similar to the information we've gotten so far from the BTS Universe storyline, Sukjin did try to run away and began losing his memories of the boys. He ends up realizing that he doesn't want to continue running away and faces the pain to regain his memory back. Then, just like that, Sukjin disappears, going into another universe, which is another time loop. Before disappearing, Sukjin walks back and faces the window once again. Taehyung enters the scene from the other parallel room. By the looks of it, he notices Sukjin. Why does he notice Sukjin? In the storyline, Taehyung thought he was just having nightmares of the boys, but realizes he was seeing past timelines. In the webtoon, Taehyung actually goes to Sukjin's house after seeing his dreams of Sukjin hopeless and sitting on the ground trying to ignore the time loops. Maybe this scene represents that. Now, the ending seems pretty sad because Sukjin is no longer there and Taehyung is reaching out, but we know what happens in the storyline. Sukjin does end up saving everyone and found his map of the soul. Now, the story shifts over to Jungkook because he has this tension built against the boys and it seems like he made a time loop deal with the cat. The lyrics of Film Out do talk about reaching out their hand and the person suddenly disappearing. After going over detailed lyrics, I've come to the conclusion that the lyrics could also connect to the storyline. Remember that Film Out is the OST for the upcoming Signal movie, which also involves time travel. Now there is a series for Signal, but it's about one detective existing in the present while another detective exists in the past and they help each other solve cases through a radio. The lyrics also go over picking up memories and gathering together, then gazing at them projected across the room. Sokjin had a scene like that in the BTS storyline. He gathered all their old photos because he was losing his memories. And every time he tried to remember, a painful headache tried to stop him. So the lyrics, I feel you with every burst of pain, reminds me of Sokjin's pain. Now I'm gonna go over all the things I noticed but haven't been able to figure out. Sokjin was running. The door on the other side was open, but during Taehyung's scene, it's closed. This blue scene with all of them standing is still puzzling to me. We do notice Sukjin is standing ahead of them instead of beside them. Although this scene does remind me of fake love when they were like lined up in hoods. This painting behind RM is actually the same painting from their Life Goes On music video. This was pretty interesting. Also, another thing I wanted to note was that Taehyung and Jimin were the only ones who appeared in Jungkook's room and they were also the only ones who appeared in the orange-yellow room. What y'all think? <laughs> 
But yes, that is all I have for today. Please leave your theories and comments down below. I do enjoy reading them all. I hope you enjoyed this explanation slash theory video. If you did, make sure to click that like button and also join the Flare Squad by subscribing, you guys. Thanks for watching.